Hello friends, uh, in this video we are going to go through the experiment but before I start taking data or conducting the experiment and changing the values of A and B, A and B I will explain to you a slight modification I have done to the arrangement compared to the diagram that you see on top here. I'm going to change up some stuff so that the scale can be seen so you can take the readings of A and B and also at the same time so that uh, it fits in the camera lah. okay so you don't want it to be too up and then this is small you cannot see or so I'll stack it this way okay so I will draw on the circuit to explain to you what's going to happen all right hopefully you will be able to infer what to do based on the information given to you I'm not going to say anything all right so here's what I'll do I have two sets of val I mean two lengths A and B. Okay, A is measured from this clam here to this other clam that is connected to the voltmeter. Okay, so this is the length A. And the other side, similarly, this will be the length B. So what I'll do is I will collect a few sets of data of A and B, but I am going to roughly change them in 5 cm intervals okay why do i do so read the experiment okay level 4 already you can you can upgrade so the values of a and b that i am making are as follows okay all right so these are the sets of values of a and b that i will take okay so i'll start with a as 5 cm and B as 45 cm. After that, in turn, I will keep increasing A in 5 cm intervals. So every time I increase 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. And then B, I will decrease 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. And I'll get total this reading. Lah. Okay? So obviously, I need to explain to you the circuit first or what kind of modification I do. And also at the same time, uh, I will show you the voltmeter and you decide how you want to take the reading based on what I'm, I'm about to do. So I will show you the connection of the circuit. I will start uh, connecting at different uh, combinations of A and B, ranging from 0 all the way to 45. I will keep the voltmeter in view of the camera. So I'll arrange stuff later for you. Okay, And you follow the experiment. Cool. All right, let's begin. So I will start off with the power supply. All right, so I'm going to pick another color here. All right, so this is the power supply. And the current will enter rod A here, right? So power supply is this one. And this is the connector that is connected to the power supply. Okay, so just connected to the power supply. I need to be able to read 5 cm from this end here okay so of course it goes without saying if you're here in person it's easier for you to see the reading but you're not so you just have to rely on the recording so I'm gonna take this okay and I'll put it at so in case this one is bothering you fine I'll put it aside first okay so this I'll put it at roughly 5 cm from this side okay so to make my life and by extension your life easier also I will start the bottom you see this line here at the nail to help us read the reading I will start this one at 50 okay so this is roughly 50 you will have some parallax error due to the angle of the camera lah. so you just try your best to read okay so roughly 50 like this and then after that, I will decrease by 5 cm. So I'm going to put it at 45, which is roughly here. So 45 is somewhere here. If you don't think this is 45, then you're right, whatever you think this one is wrong. Okay. So here to here is 5 cm. Your A is 5 cm. Okay. Then after this is from the battery connected directly to A, 
And then after that here, I'll connect to the resistor. So this is my, this is my resistor. Okay. I'll connect this one here. I'll try my best to not hide the scale from you. Lah. Try. Okay. So we'll connect to this resistor. And this resistor is just in the middle, chilling here. So it's not really involved in the experiment. I'll keep it outside. Okay. So it may be out of view at some certain times. The other side of the resistor will connect to B. So now currently, based on your circuit, we have uh, connected the resistor. And the other side of the resistor will connect to rod B. Okay? So rod B, we will measure from here, this point where my finger is tapping here. Tap, 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 tap. Lower left-hand corner, tap, tap. So until where this crocodile clam is the black one. Okay, this one, this one, this one. All right, so I want this to be 45. And again, to make our life easier, I'll try to align this black line to zero, okay? And I will try to follow the camera, not my non-parallax error here. So this thing is going to be at 45. So 45 is roughly here. Ish, kind of. Is it though? Yeah, 45 is somewhere here. Okay. And the other end of this wire is connected to the power supply. So the other end of B that allows me to have 45 is connected to the other end of the power supply like this. Tick. So I've connected the pink one already. Okay. The yellow distance is the distance between the red the red clip. So I guess I will put a color for you. Lah. This is red. This is red. Okay. This one. Take a reading. Okay. The distance B is the distance between the black clips. So this is black. And this is black. Okay. So it will be this one to this one. And the center resistor is here. See, it's connected to the center. So instead of putting it side by side, okay, hopefully you can clearly tell it's connected to here, one side of A, and the other side is connected to here, one side of B. Okay, so um, this one and this one doesn't change. Okay, so it's going to stay here, but I will connect a power supply across these two, either across these two terminals or connecting to this wire, this terminal, and this terminal. So I think I will connect directly to this one. Because if I connect to this one and I want to take readings from this red one to this red one, it's going to have a potential of blocking. But we'll see. It's a trial and error thing. So I'm going to put this one here, okay, like this. I'll try to make sure that the connection is good. Okay, connections are good and tight. If not, then your reading cannot allow. So I'll connect this way. This is my voltmeter. Okay, so this one, this one of my voltmeter. Connected directly. Okay, I know you cannot really tell, but you have to trust me, it's the same thing. Okay. So, because it's connected directly, I'm going to remove the, the resistor and keep it out of the way. And remind you again that your A and B, instead of side by side, because I cannot fit it in the camera, I put it top and bottom. A is the distance between this red clamp to this red clamp. And B is the distance between this black clamp and this black clamp. Okay, Things that I would no longer show in the camera after the jump cut would be uh, this resistor, this battery. Miss, you don't have switch. Uh? Uh, the switch that I have at home is a bit weird. Lah. Okay, so I will just omit the switch. Whenever I'm not doing the experiment, I will disconnect the supply this way, which you should be doing anyway. All right. So I'm going to pause the video, rearrange so that you have a better view of the scale on the ruler and also this voltmeter. Okay. Uh, the voltmeter setting, if you cannot see, is 2 volt. All right. 
So everything that you have, I hope you know what unit this is. If this is 2 volt, then whatever you have up here will be 2 in volts. You see 0 0.1, then 0 0.1 volt. Cool. Okay, I will pause the recording and do a jump scene. Okay, I am back and I have adjusted the table, the setup, and you can see that this part here is 5 cm. Uh, not the other red clamp is here. La. Let me move this a bit so you can see. The other red clamp is here. I've tried to align this ruler because this one is the red clamp. I've tried to align this ruler so that the uh, 0 cm mark is at the bottom part here. Okay, this part is the 0 cm mark and this is roughly at the 5 cm. If you don't think this is 5 cm, that's also okay. You can take whatever reading you think it is. Lah. All right, I'm just going to try my best to follow the camera. Okay, again, just trying my best here, guys. Okay, so where this red clamp is, the center point, and then this part here should be about 5 cm. All right, and then the black to black, the 1 cm is aligned to the most leftmost nail. And then here should be about 45 centimeters. I'll try to put it vertically so you can tell that it's 45, but again, this thing is subjected to human errors maybe something like this okay so you can see this is the voltmeter reading you know what to do so you can take the reading now i'm going to move the red one by increasing it by five okay just increasing it by five again if you disagree that this is increased by five you are more than free to write down whatever reading you think this one is. Who knows? Maybe your graph is nicer. Because I am operating with limited vision. Okay, so this one will decrease by 5. So, somewhere here. Ish. Okay, increasing the red clamp by five some more. Roughly five and decreasing the length, the distance between the black clamp by about five. As well, so somewhere here. Okay, I'm making sure that I align it properly, okay. But again, I'm a one-woman show. Okay, looks good to me. Alright, next reading. Making this one go up by 5. So we are talking about 20. And this reading would be... 30 ish okay this is your next reading I'm gonna keep going by increasing a and decreasing B Increasing a another 5 cm. Decreasing b another 5 cm. Increasing a another 5 cm. Decreasing b another 5 cm.
Okay. Next five. I think this is the final five. No, wait, this is not. This is another 5 cm here. This one should be here. Okay, so you can make your inferences about roughly where I'm clicking. Okay. And last but not least, the last 5 cm here, and the last 5 cm here-ish. Okay, so that will be the final reading, and uh, this part has ended. Okay, so you got the data that you want. I have roughly followed this A and B. Uh, what readings to use and what to do, I will leave that to you. Good luck with your graph and gradient and y-intercepts. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.